What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry we've been gone for almost a week, but now we have a little bit of time. As you guys know, we're not only a YouTube channel, we're actually a company that builds parts and has to finish product, test product, get customers' cars done, and so on. Today, behind me is my beautiful Revolto. You guys can see the car is torn apart again. There's a reason for that, and the reason is we wanted to do some final test fitting for the exhaust systems. We made some changes to the hangers and a couple other little things that we wanted to move around. So we're doing the final test for that. We actually changed the way the exhaust tips are too. So the guys are for finishing that up. We got the valve system, the non-valve system, all that stuff going in. We just sent down the test pipes to get um, Inconel heat shield. So those are all fitted up, testing those and making sure everything is 100% perfect with our fixture before we start sending out everybody's uh, exhaust systems. Thank God we've had a bunch of Revolto orders. Hopefully we do almost all the Revoltos that are out there, just like we've done so many Aventadors. So if you have a Revolto and you want the best system out there, well, I shouldn't say the best system. There's other companies that make great systems too. Again, for us, our system is the best. For others, they have their own opinion. But if you want a great system for your car, something that sounds amazing, something that actually performs the way it is, something that has the right heat shielding and everything to keep your car safe, you know where to buy it. So while we have been having the Revolto apart and test fitting a couple things and testing a couple things for the fixtures. We've also scanned the back of the car. We are getting ready to tear this car apart again in the next couple of weeks. So what we'll do is we'll put the system on, we'll do some testing, we'll drive it around a little bit. Once we're done doing all that stuff, obviously we bought this car for development. This car is not just to go out and have fun and say we have a Revolto. Uh, we'll take it to shows here and there, but our number one goal with this car is actually to finish our twin turbo kit. The intake manifold stuff we've already tested and everything looks pretty good. We might have to make a couple little changes for some stuff which we're working on, but we'll be hanging the Zona turbos on here real soon, uh, making all the you know wastegate pipes and all that other stuff that we need to do, trying to figure out what we're gonna do with the cooling system, how we're gonna route the intakes and so on. So as this has been torn apart, we've been focusing on all that stuff because my whole goal is to hopefully have this car turboed and running in the next, you know, month and a half to two months and start making all the stuff we have to do for the ECU part of it to make everything work. We obviously want to have map switching, flex fuel, and all the other cool options that everybody wants. And as you guys know, these ECUs in these cars are locked right now. So we are also focusing on working on that. So we have a lot of stuff going on. The Revolto stuff is just endless, endless amounts of stuff that we got to do to this car. So we're focusing on that. That's why we've been so busy. You know, we haven't been making too many YouTube videos and Instagram videos and content, but we're, we're trying to do everything at the same time. Enough talking about the Revolto. We'll give you guys some more updates. Hopefully by the end of the week, we'll give you guys some more sound clips. I know we haven't put a lot of sound clips out there of this car. And the reason for that is again, because we've been in development with so much stuff over here and trying to finish up so many cars. As you guys know, we got my buddy, Adrian, who was crazy enough to hand me a beautiful Carrera GT. And you guys could see the Carrera GT is already on the lift and the guys are head deep. I was about to say balls deep, but their balls are heads deep straight into the engine bay of the car. We're taking apart some of the rear section and stuff like that of this car right now. We got to do the valve cover gaskets, spark plugs, coils, so on. Small stuff that needs to get done for this car. We got to look at the ABS malfunction. So take care of that, bleed the brakes. As of right now, the guys are actually pulling out the rear section of the exhaust out. We will be scanning this car tonight with uh, my buddy Paul, which uh, Paul's coming back. And Paul will be doing a lot of scanning over here. So you guys will see Paul in the videos. We're gonna be scanning most of the car. We're gonna start building a rear section for it just to have a rear section for everybody around the world to be able to buy for the Carrera GT. We really wanna do a full long tube six to one header for this thing. Six to one, five to one header for this thing. Sorry, my head is so stuck on V12 stuff that I keep completely forgetting that this is not a V12, it's a V10. And I gotta get my head out of my ass and stop thinking about Aventadors and Revoltos all day, but we want to do a five to one um, long tube step header for this thing. And then obviously our main goal is to put some turbos on it. I have looked at the intake manifold. We are, we want to change the intake manifold design to be able to, to, to put two nice big air to liquid intercoolers in there. So we will be scanning those, redesigning those, getting those ready. But as we're doing that, we will make a regular um, exhaust for this thing to go on sale. We will probably put it all back together with the muffler 
and put it on the dyno, get a stock dyno, and then we'll put the exhaust on it. We'll dyno it again so we can get you guys some beautiful sound clips. And then as we're doing the rest of the stuff and developing the stuff, we will continue on with the turbo stuff and then we'll put it back on the dyno for that. So that's basically what's going on with the Carrera GT right now. Again, a lot of projects. We got the 992 getting ready to put the motor in and do the new intake manifold that we've designed with the port injectors. We have a bunch of orders for exhaust systems that are getting built and getting sent out. One of our fabricators actually just had a baby, so he's out, so it slowed us down a little bit. Our STO is almost ready to go on the dyno for our stage one stuff, and then it'll get shipped to Florida for Dave at Shift Culture. So stay updated, stay tuned for that. We'll get some video clips of that. I've been working on the Senna. I've been in the dyno room nonstop for the past week. We've tuned Senna's before, obviously, but right now we're doing some stuff with our map switching. We're also doing some stuff with bigger injectors, fuel system, and so on, rolling anti-lag rolling anti -lag and stuff like that. Some safety stuff that we're actually testing. So this car is a royal pain in the flash. So sometimes there's some certain changes that we need to make that we have to do from the from the ECU itself, so we gotta crawl up under there and do it. Some stuff is OBD2, some stuff the immobilizer goes crazy, locks you out of the car, so it's a royal pain. Even when you wanna do a quick flash and change a file in it, every single map you wanna change, every single file you wanna flash in there, it ends up taking like 20 plus minutes for this car, so it's complete hell. But this thing has our full three and a half inch race system on there, uh, three and a half inch down pipes, three and a half inch rear section, full titanium rear section, fully inconel down pipes, fully inconel heat shift down pipes. And this has our nice big X. It's basically the biggest X that you could fit on a Senna. And if you compare the Senna sound and the sound clips that we're gonna show you guys, it sounds very different than every other Senna that's on the street. It's actually, actually got a really, really nice pitch, a higher pitch, and that's because of the way we blend the exhaust, which is a very pain in, pain in doing this car because we have, hardly have any room. We just made some changes. We had to check some stuff so the car is on the ramp. We'll actually put that down in a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and start running this. We get a couple clips of us doing some pulls on the car. That's a small update of what's going on over here. We got a couple more turbo builds. The blue Aventador will actually be on the dyno, hopefully not this week, next week. We just put our new clutch in there. The guys are putting everything together. The gray Liberty Walk Aventador, which is Shift Coulter's, Dave's car. That one's motor is already in. We're gonna start putting all the turbo stuff, everything in there. My buddy Daniel's car, we just finished all our harness stuff for our secondary controller. So full mil spec wiring harness, which we'll be testing this weekend. So we got a bunch of cars that are getting put together. And then once these cars are done, we have a lot of new projects coming in. Another project that we're gonna complete is, my, is the 993 RWB which uh, sitting there lonely waiting. The 991, uh, 992 uh, Turbo S with the built motor, 4.1 liter stroker, and my SVJ. We gotta bring back my SVJ. So we gotta bring that back, put that together. So stay tuned, keep watching. Hope you enjoy the content and we're trying to do as best we can. Thank you, like, subscribe, follow. <laughs>
Got a GT2 RS over here getting finished up with the titanium exhaust. Oh! <laughs> and we got a famous Filipino singer right here. <laughs> So we got this beautiful GT2 RS over here, getting our full titanium setup and tune. We got a 997.2 GT2 RS. You guys know how big of a unicorn that baby is. We got to put some upgraded intercoolers in it. We got my boys uh, 992 GT3 in for exhaust. We got this 992 Turbo S convertible, which is here for our built motor package, rods, pistons, head studs, and all that stuff. This car had a bit of a failure at another shop and now it's got a hole in the side of the block about this big. So we'll give you guys some updates on this car while we pull the motor down, put the new motor in. And then we got the 991, uh, so 991-992 Turbo S, which is here for some map switching stuff that we're working on. So we got a lot of work this week, next week, leading into next week. We got another Porsche over there here for some updates. My beautiful 348 is here which I'm really sad every time I walk outside and I look at this thing, I wanna cry because it's sold, it's leaving to Australia. It's fine though, cause I'll be going and visiting my friends in Australia and I get to see it. It's going to a beautiful collection, somebody who actually deserves it, somebody who's gonna keep it and take care of it. But look at this thing, it is so, it's so pretty, man. It is so beautiful. Sad that it's gonna leave, but sad but true, you know? What can you do? All right, so. Let's get into this BMW stuff. By the way, look how nice the M5 looks, guys. We got it on LMs. Bam! A little bit of lowering. There's gonna be a daily driver for my boy Chris, so he'll drive it from working back uh, in Utah. Perfect, perfect. We're thinking about doing maybe a front lip, doing black grills, black side uh, kidney grills, and we might do a little rear uh, diffuser on it, but the car came out perfect. The cool part is we'll go do some uh, flybys with this thing because we actually put an Eisenman race rear muffler on this thing, and then we made our own Gintani F1 uh, type, like the, how we do on the SVJs. We made an X-pipe for it, and it sounds pretty freaking gnarly. It still has the factory headers in it, but it sounds unbelievable. So we'll go get some clips of this thing, go throw it around a little bit, and give you guys a teaser of that so you guys can feel a little bit of that BMW M V10 power. Thank you for sneezing, Dave. Dave, everybody say bless you to Dave. God bless Bless you, Dave. Guys, don't mind the mess. As you guys can see, we're working on finishing up the waiting area. We got this cool little bar right here. We're finishing up, so this will be like a little walk-up bar. We're either gonna make it a walk-up bar or we're gonna make it um, a counter for somebody to sit back here and you know greet you guys when you guys walk in. I don't know, the whole bar, bottles, Getting fun, having fun thing is uh, getting me a little get, get, get a little bit of fun. I think I'm going towards that a little bit more than just having it as a reception table. Because obviously we'll make this like a smart hub. We're gonna have iPads here. We'll have a printer underneath, so you guys could come here. We have a big whiteboard coming here that we could go over all the projects and everything. So this is where everything will happen. As you guys can see, we're doing some stuff over here, picking out some uh, Alcantara and some leather for the Carrera GT because we're redoing the interior on that car. Uh, but all the main stuff with our customers going over projects, building stuff is going to happen in this little studio area that we have. Waiting room slash studio where you can see all the cars in the background. So it's pretty cool. But aside of that, I got to touch a, on a subject real quick. So as you guys know, we started this business doing Mini Coopers. We went on to BMWs. We were really big into BMWs for years. We built a lot of V8 M3 supercharger kits, E46 M3 supercharger kits, V10 M5 M6 supercharger kits. We even did the twin turbo stuff for the E92 M3. Well, a few years ago, I decided that I don't wanna do any of that stuff anymore. And we basically put it on the back burner. We've had multiple, multiple calls. I mean, hundreds of calls of people asking us for these kits. So recently, about five months ago, we had a company who reached out to us, which we've known and we've done some stuff for in the you know, past. And they basically wanted to start doing supercharger kits for E92 M3s, M6s, and all so on. S65, S85 stuff, even S54 stuff. So I basically decided that we're never gonna do those anymore. We're never gonna make any products for those cars anymore. We're never gonna make supercharger kits. So as of this video, I'm announcing it so you guys could take it today. Gintani has no longer has any part 
of the supercharger market or the turbo market for the S65, S54, S85. None of those motors. We will not make any of those products for these cars as in the kit form. The reason for that is because we have literally sold off all the molds, all the drawings, all the jigs, everything that belongs to those kits to Nosta Performance. So if you guys ever need any of those kits, Nosta is actually working on it and they're gonna start making kits again. They have everything, they have the whole recipe. We've literally handed it to them. So at this point, it's up to them when they're gonna start producing these things, when they're gonna start putting kits together and when they're gonna start selling it. So when you guys call us and ask us about V10, V8 stuff, cause you've heard of another company selling our stuff, it's not our stuff anymore. It is their stuff. Now, we will all always try to help them out and try to guide them in the right direction of putting the kits together. I might help them out with a, some of the tuning, but at the end of the day, whatever Nosta sells you guys, it is directly from Nosta. It has nothing to do with Gintani. Gintani is not responsible for anything that has to do with any of those kits. From now on, if you guys want any of that, we'll put a link to their um, website. We'll put a link to their phone number, their email and whatever. You guys could reach out to Alexander and uh, some of the other guys over there and you guys could talk to them. I don't know what their schedule is like, so please don't ask us. We don't know when we're, they're gonna put these kits together, when they're planning on putting it to market. Again, whatever they do with that situation is completely dependent on them. You guys pay for a kit, you guys put a deposit down, it has nothing to do with us. But from now on, Nosta owns every single one of those kits. So no more Gintani kits. They will look like our kits. They will be rebranded. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but it will be all Nosta's product. So any problems, any thing you guys want with those kits, please, please contact Nosta. You cannot buy it through us. We won't sell anything through to you guys. Everything has to go through them. So I just wanted to put that out there. I wish Nosta the best of luck. They kind of remind me of me when I was younger. They're younger than me and it's cool to see a young generation try to do what I did and try to bring back these kits for all you guys out there that I've been asking us for it. When we were first doing this, there was VF, there was ESS and then there was us. We were really big at a point and then some stuff happened and we trickled down and then people started buying a bunch of ESS and VF kits. And then when we started pushing the envelope with these cars, with the fuel systems and the stuff we were doing and the amount of power we were making, all the people who bought other kits, we used to contact us and say, damn, we screwed up. We should have bought your kit. Well, if you screwed up, you should have bought our kit. There's your chance to talk to Nosta and see when they're gonna do their kit, their version of it. I know they're changing some stuff around and it's your chance to be able to get this kit again. It's one of the best kits, I think, on the market for these cars. There is no intercooler capacity like we have. Uh, the design is flawless. It's amazing. It makes a lot of power. So again, contact Nosta, talk to them. I wish them the best, the best of luck in their future with these kits and the BMW product. Thank you guys. Sorry for ranting for this long, but I had to do it. With all that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Keep following us, keep watching our videos. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Yes, Dave, we will start the M5 right now and we will make some noise for them so they can enjoy it. All right, thank you so much.